Yo, yo, what's up everybody? It's your main man, Wingo's back here with another super official on the road if you can't take it, baby. No, you can't feel this thing, man. Today is the second day of winter um, because yesterday was winter solstice, aka the longest night. So, this is actually pretty darn chilly here in San Jose, California. And I'm here. Here is West Grove Lane. Um, attentive viewers of mine might remember this street, West Grove Lane, pretty cut a shout out to Russell Westbrook. Um, it was featured in my last on the road review. I did say I was gonna do these less and less, but times have changed. So here's Thompson Creek, by the way. Shout out to Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson Creek. This creek is, or is a creek that runs along this way, north south roughly, and there's an accompanying trail here called the Thompson Trail and it's actually named after the basketball player Clay Thompson. He's had such an influence on San Jose as a city that we've named an entire creek and a trail after him. No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't know who. It could be Thompson, but I'm pretty sure it's not Clay. It's just called Thompson. I don't know who it's named after. But yeah, um, these reviews will be coming in more and more frequently um, as I um the circumstances have changed pretty much so the original reason i started the series you guys remember less content on my youtube channel um because of covid hard for me to film with my friends then things started opening up um i was able to hang out with friends more we go out to eat create content um stuff like that but now uh some regulations have come back into place and it's hard to hang out again. Like Code Purple happened. I don't know if you guys heard about that. There's a whole shelter in place order that was released, stay at home. So we're not really hanging out that much anymore. Here's a look at Thompson Creek. It's basically completely dried out now. There's a little sandbag, uh, what do you call it? Sewage pipe there, Thompson Creek. And here's a bridge of Terabithia. A uh, accessing some filtered permeability here connecting that street above or ahead which is Aborn Court with whatever street that is I actually forgot the name of it whatever was intersecting West Grove yeah cool stuff here nice bridge connecting two neighborhoods and if you had to take a car you'd have to take a scenic route so yeah we're just getting to this review it's getting dark already as you guys can see my I have a new phone Samsung S20 so it's OP, it doesn't look dark on my screen right now, but it's pretty dark, um, actually. Um, sun's set, about to set. Because of the winter time, man, time, seasons are changing, times are changing. The venues of these reviews will change yet, yet again. Speaking of, so let's uh, showcase the drink we have here today. This is the Bang Strawberry Blast. Um, purchased from the Lucky on Aborn and White. You guys might know that Lucky. If you guys have watched some of my on the road reviews, you might know which one I'm talking about. And that's the reason I'm showing you guys this area instead of the usual bougie neighborhood of Hailstone slash um, Bel Air Estates. This is a new neighborhood because we're buying Bang Energy Drinks from Lucky Supermarket now instead of New Seasons Market. So yeah, we have this uh, Bang Strawberry Blast here. It, interestingly enough, it has an American flag on it as the B logo. Shout out to B. Maybe this was a, a 4th of July special, but it's December, so I don't know. So you can see some construction going along. Thompson, Clay Thompson Creek, some demolition. Across that creek, actually, on the other side is Evergreen Branch Library, classic library. Oh yeah, strawberry blast flavor, bang energy drink. You already know the drill. Uh, I'm wearing gloves because it's so cold, so a little unwieldy. You already know the drill. Zero calories per can, EAA aminos. And I'm very excited to try this one because if you guys don't know, strawberry is one of my favorite flavors in sweet things and desserts. So very excited to try the strawberry blast. Additionally, last review, we tried the Bankster Berry 
and that truly raised the bar for um for bang energy drinks like it is it was among the top i've ever tried so really looking forward to this hopefully it can be as good as bangster berry without any further ado let's get into it i open it up real quick and i gotta take off my face mask all right uh gonna be a little bit awkward here okay all right Bankster Berry going in. I'm sorry, Strawberry Blast going in. This is incredible. Oh wow, this is lovely. Oh, this is better than Bankster Berry. I'll tell you what, I think this is the number one bang I've ever had. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like strawberry flavored Hello Panda. Have you ever had Hello Panda snacks? The Asian biscuit snack with the printed panda design on it. Really tasty. Or alternatively, it also kind of tastes like um, strawberry Pocky. Pocky is another Asian snack. And if you have never tried those Asian snacks, maybe you don't have access to an Asian supermarket nearby. It kind of vaguely tastes like strawberry Nesquik. Not really, a little bit. But it's the flavor is more akin to um, strawberry panda, hello panda, and strawberry um, Pocky. Shout out to Nothing Bun Cakes here, one of my favorite cake shops in the area. Starbucks, shout out to Chris. And Evergreen Inn's gonna come into view soon. Evergreen Inn, you might know, home of the Friday oh. Fellows. Um, my favorite. Uh, brunch place in the Bay area. I'll show you guys Evergreen Inn. They have a outdoor seating setup right now, but it's currently out of. Oh wait, you can do that now. Oh my, this phone is incredible. Wait, I gotta zoom because I'm wearing a glove. There. I don't know how I did it, but I flipped the camera. Wow, S20, up in the game. Okay, now you guys might recognize this area. I've shown this area once in an on the road review before. But yeah, oh wow, strawberry blast. Incredible bang. So delicious. Um, man, it just tastes like a delicious, sweet strawberry snack. It doesn't really taste like, like a strawberry soda or like strawberry, I don't know. We just got that nice and tasty strawberry sweet taste. Um, that's really reminiscent of snacks that I used to eat as a kid. Here's Taco Bell, you guys can see. Um, shout out to Joseph, AKA Azuro, AKA I Eat Fat Kids. Um, here's Taco Bell, my local Taco Bell. Uh, crispy crunchy chicken and golden Buddha across the street. Now I'm really showing you guys where I am. I've reviewed a bunch of these places on my channel before. You already know, there's Golden Buddha. There's Crispy Punch of Chicken at the Valero. Yeah. That's a drink, guys. Didn't mean to match, but I am wearing my pink gloves today. Uh, really delicious energy drink, this, star this uh, Strawberry Blast. I'm putting it at number one on my bang tier list. I think I had, what? Previous was Lemon Drop, right? Lemon Drop tastes like Sprite. So this number one, Lemon Drop number two, Bankster Berry number three, I believe. I could change up my rankings in a bit, you know. And then I think after that is the other stuff like Candy Apple Crisp is pretty good. Um, Sour Heads, pretty good. Uh, Radical Skedaddle is pretty good. But in the top tier, this is in the top tier. Strawberry Blast. All right, spin your main man wing drops with another on the road review. My CD's a little more often. In fact, it might not have been a long that long of a time between the last one and this one on YouTube. But basically, um, it's been about a month since I filmed the last one in real life for me. But it might be less than that in real uh, in, on YouTube because I didn't film as much. Though I am trying to fill the void with like random gaming content and stuff. So yeah, 
Main Man Wing Drops. Uh, give us a four and a half out of five. Uh, I don't know if I can give it a five all day, but maybe it, actually no, I'll give it a five all day. Screw it. It's really good for a zero calorie energy drink. Delicious. If you love strawberry, you'll love this drink. We're done here.